Ladies and gentlemen, today we are bringing back a classic segment of the podcast, Dob in a Rare Unit. If you're new to the podcast, haven't heard this segment before, a rare unit is essentially someone who's a bit strange, a bit weird, and we're just dobbing them in. We, ne- we think that the world needs to understand about how many rare units there are. Um, and so the first one comes from Liran, who sends in a voice note. So I'll let him tell the story. So there I was in the restroom at work, and uh, I go to sit down, take a quick number two. And some mate, you know, follows me in about a minute later. He sits down in the stall right next to me. And uh, after a minute or two of silence, he goes, damn, that smell was amazing. You must have had a phenomenal lunch and dinner. And I think to myself, brother, there is no way this man has commented on the smell and stated that I have had a good diet. So I, uh, I, I, I hit him with a, hey, thanks, mate, and I uh, try and push it off. And then about a minute later, you know, I admit, I let out a quick toot. And he goes, oh, no, mate, I've been holding this one in. And then proceeds to create what I can only describe as a, mas- as a classical symphony of trumpets and trombones. And I think to myself, this brother man, he has first not only commented on the smell and diet of, smell and diet of what I have consumed, but he has now held in and then waited for the executionable moment to let out this, uh, this delivery, this Amazon package. And so I, 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 I sit there in dead silence, amazed at what has happened. And uh, I, you know, as quickly as I can, I finish up my business and I step out to leave. And uh, he says, hey, quick question before you go. And I say, yes, how can I help you? And he says... My fart, on a scale of 1 to 10, what can you rate it? And uh, I, 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 without question, say 6.9 and properly leave. <laughs> All righty. Firstly, beautifully told story, Liran. Mm. Thank you for that. Uh, my Wait, where's of- Liran from? Sorry, quick one. What's the accent there? He sounds British, but then also sounds a bit Australian. Yeah, a bit of twang Australian in there. But I believe he lives in Japan, in yeah. Tokyo. Mm. No need well- to dox him. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Man interesting of the character. World. Yeah, um, what, what were you going to say, Sam? Oh, just firstly, my first Easter egg. Yeah, was, uh, it was a nice little, you catch on a kush. What? Yeah, little yeah, reference. A little TCB reference in the, in the story. Brother Man? Yeah. Where's that from? You. Where do you think it's from? Your brain, brother. Thanks, man. No, happy new year, man, brother. <laughs> happy new oh. year, man, brother, <laughs> was the message you sent on <laughs> January 1st to someone. I appreciate that one. Thank you for that. Um, that's crazy. I've, I don't even know how. I wouldn't even talk to someone. If someone walked in while I was mid shit and commented mm. on the waft. Have you, have you seen the, um, the Hamish and Andy segment where they, um, Andy will eat the food and then farts in Hamish's face and he has to like guess what the food he ate was? <laughs> what the, what the fuck? The dude? fuck? You haven't so, seen that? that? Sounds like some OnlyFans shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, what website is this on? <laughs> but that's what this guy is essentially doing. That's he's disgusting. He's smelling the, I don't know, if. Liran lives in Japan. Maybe he's had a little pork tonkatsu. Mm. And then out comes the pork tonkatsu and this guy's smelling the, the premium cut of pork. Has she ever smelled somewhat good? No, it hasn't. So why is this guy being like, that was nice? It's a quiet taste like licorice. It never tastes good, but once you have enough, you can <laughs> tell the difference between the different ones. This also like begs the question, because I've had a similar experience, not to the smelling of someone, like the commentating on someone's shit, but like when you're in a cubicle, and then someone's at the urinals and mm. you're having a chat. I've always felt that's a little bit, a little bit weird because I'm inside in the cubicle and there's a guy who's like, yeah, how's your day been? Yeah. yeah. How's it going? And you can hear the splashes and whatnot. It just feels uh. odd. It feels bizarre, but this is taking to the next level. No, it's also a stranger who's mm. like next to you. I feel when I go to the bathroom, right? Like rare units, first of all, my favorite type of rare units because <laughs> the, 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 the weirdness comes out. I saw a podcast clip of a guy who um, for the last, he was like 30 years old. And for like the last 30 years, he thought how you take a dump was you get the toilet paper and you catch your own poo as it falls. No way, dude. Uh, that can't be real. No way. Yeah, I don't know if it's real or not, but he, he seemed <laughs> gobsmacked when um, the lady next to him was like, oh no, you wipe. And he's like, oh, so who's, you're not catching it. Like, why do you need to wipe? You just, you just catch it. It's like a baseball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> baseball mitt, mate. Um, but like my, when I go to the bathroom, like especially number twos, let's say you wouldn't know, you don't go to number twos in exactly. public toilets, mm. but. I try to be as quiet as possible. You know what I mean? Like I actually feel embarrassed. So embarrassed in fact that I put like three layers of toilet paper on 
the the water oh. to avoid like the splash and Poseidon's kiss. Poseidon's <laughs> kiss. <laughs> <laughs> but the, this guy not only is is um, but even Laurent even giving a little peep, a little toot. I'm not about that. I'll wait for the person to exit before I let loose. Yeah. Oh, I so do that with entering and exiting. I make sure if I hear a bit of commotion outside, I don't <laughs> want people to know I've taken a dump and left. You know, I want the coast to be clear before I oh, exit. Really? Yeah. Is so it, I'll wait. Bro, you this know, is some deep seated shame. <laughs> exactly. I don't know why, bro. It's so obvious you're taking a shit. Mm. Like when you walk into it. But it's obvious it's me. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So but what, like, how are they going to know that it's you anyway? No, none of this is rational, right? None of this is fe- <laughs> like at work potentially, right? Yeah, okay. When I walk in, if I take a dime, I see someone using the urinal outside, I'll wait for them to wash their hands, go away. Oh, yeah, and I then do. I'll exit the cubicle. I do this as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, don't I do want, this as well. I don't want them to look at me as I exit the cubicle. The yeah. worst is when you get Hoisting caught. Hoisting your pants up. Exactly, man. <laughs> and smell it as well. <laughs> I don't want to exactly, claim ownership to just what's just happened. Because like I do some serious damage sometimes in the toilet. Do you know what I mean? Like absolute work. So I don't want anyone to know what's happened, right? It's the spotless. Um, yeah, you can't look at that person the same after you know seen them defecate so violently. <laughs> That's what you don't. You're not seeing them. All you're seeing is them stepping out yeah, after but you the can defecation. Smell the no, damage, but you bro. can read between the lines. You know what's happening. There's a waft. It's and, on you. And if you can hear it as well, you can you can basically figure out how much, like the volume of it. I as think well. the worst is the ones that the people who don't have shame. Where like you enter a cubicle, someone's there already next to you. You know mm. it, and you just hear the. Oh, yeah. And just release it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, those are the worst, dude. You know what I've noticed at work? I feel like people try and be as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it, the violence is amplified, is how quick they try to get everything out. There are a lot of groans, a lot of everything. I'm like, brother, relax. We had a uh, life hack, I think, a few weeks ago when we were doing that segment. And mm. it was like, if you spread your cheeks, um, you can't <laughs> hear the fart. That's a lie. You can. You absolutely can. <laughs> you try? I did. But, uh, <laughs> It was a life hack. I was like, I'll give it a shot. This man went home after that recording, spread his cheeks <laughs> and reported back to us. But I will say what actually is a hack is when you go into the, when you're taking a number two, like you spread your cheeks properly, properly spread your cheeks. And when you defecate, it's a much cleaner cleanup. <laughs> what do you mean spread? Like you, you like get your hand and you outstretch one side? Yeah, it's both sides actually. Like, you can't, they're, they're like a you, rubber band or something. <laughs> like like a toothpick. Yeah. No, but that means you have to, you can't be sitting then. You have to be squatting. Or yeah. something. No, you can be, so, you can be sitting. How? No, what? dude. How, how do your hands spread your cheeks if you're sitting? Oh, you're saying you're resting both like on the actual lid? Like both of your cheeks? Like you spread it that much. So am I sitting on my hands? But you're sitting on your hands. Essentially. Yeah, you're sitting on your hands. You're sitting on your hands. I'm not touching my yeah. cheeks. Yeah. Whilst the yeah. feces are coming out yeah, of my asshole. Bro, no, no t- way, dude. Or you can squat. Do whatever works for you. But I'm just saying it's a cleaner process. Well, that's why a squatting mechanism always works. Because you are spread out to probably your maximum limit. One would say. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. There's something in it. Maybe the when we go to Japan. I don't know. Do they have squat toilets there? No, they've got the powerful oh, they, they speak to you, bro. They give you dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Those toilets. <laughs> it's having a full blown conversation. It's <laughs> chat GPT toilet, dude. <laughs> All right, going back to the rage unit. <laughs> I mean, of course this is rare. Yeah. But also, is is Liran a bit rare for- Is our man rare for responding? Uh, yeah. Responding with a 6.9 to the fart, bro. Is no, that- no, I think that's fine. I think he's fine to respond in the cubicle. It's, yeah, it's rude. The- Kind of. Yeah, you can't ignore him if it's just you two. Yeah. I mean, you can. I would. <laughs> no, is the, is the other guy rare or is he just doing a bit? Is this a comedy bit? <laughs> Have we been done? Surely he's just having a laugh. I, I can think like I can think of no Especially situation. When he's asking for a rating as well. <laughs> like he's doubling down on the bit. Yeah. And I think Laurent giving the 6.9, you know, even more in the bit. I've had a thought about it, you know, to that extent. But of all bits to do. This is not high on my list. Ah, it's pretty funny. It's, it's pretty funny because like, well, he said it, didn't he? It was very uncomfortable. It's rattling. Yeah. <laughs> it's rattling. But I wouldn't try it at work. No, There's not no a chance. chance I would try it at work. Was this at work? He didn't say it was at work. I think he did say it was at work, wasn't oh, he? Oh, you reckon this is public toilet? Oh, so this, is, oh, this makes it even weirder then. No, if it's work, that's outrageous. I thought it was just a public toilet. Maybe he did. Maybe I misheard. I think work makes it a bit okay. No. You can't be asking, what did you eat? It smells delicious. No, work makes it 10 times worse because no, you, you have might... a chance to know them. Public toilet, you're very likely to never see this person again. Nah, that's a weird thing to do to someone you don't yeah, know. Yeah, actually, I kind of, I think the office is a little bit better than a public no toilet. No way. Yes. Yeah, I think the office is Are we having a laugh here? No, 
Dude, zero chance. I'd rather do it to someone I know than someone exactly. completely random. Exactly, I feel like they know each other. That's the No, thing. he's told it in a way that they obviously don't know each other. Or maybe he's put a little bit of mayo or, or on this. Or maybe like they, it's not like they know like their friends, their acquaintances. It's like at the office, you know that person. No, I'm that's doing weird, it to dude, that's weird. <laughs> like I'm, work, work friend yeah. that you have this rapport and joking relationship with, yeah. yes. But like some guy I know that sits across the room, <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing that. Jake bro. from sales is not getting it. You know, Marcus from accounting, there's no way I'm asking what he ate for lunch. It's outrageous, <laughs> CLM. All right, Laran has sent in another one, another little voice note, so strap in. So background information, we had a barbecue at work today and this rare unit decided that not only was it going to chug a small bottle of vinegar, but he was also going to take a hamburger and put it inside a hot dog bun and then eat the hot dog bun from the side. <laughs> so that's the rareness that we're dealing with. Fast forward a little bit. I decide, excuse myself, to go to the restroom. Go to the restroom. I'm using one of the three available urinals. I'm using the one on the far left, freeing up the other two. Midwiz, this guy who has just absolutely destroyed these hot dogs in a despicable manner with the hamburgers in them, he has decided to come in behind me, and he is now standing right behind me. There's about maybe a forearm of distance in between the back of me and the front of him. Right, right behind me. So and as I finish taking my whiz, I decide, you know, I have to, I have to one up this guy. I have to alpha this guy. I'm not going to be done like this. So I finish taking my whiz, and then I turn around and I stare at him. You know, I got my dong in hand and everything. I haven't, unzipped, I haven't zipped up the pants yet. So I turn around, seeing that he has to face me like this. And I say, "Can I help you, mate?" And he looks at me with the straightest face and goes, "Oh, sorry, I didn't know if the other two urinals worked or not, and so I wanted to use one that worked." <laughs> you to make sure I could get this one before no one else could. Keep in mind, we have worked in this same place for years now and the other, th the three urinals have always worked. He just chose to stand behind me to make sure this one particular urinal worked and instead of waiting off to the side or standing behind maybe a meter or so, he has chosen about a forearms distance, practically assaulting me in the process. <laughs> Bro, that's hilarious. Dude, he had his cock <laughs> For like 30 seconds, the man behind him was just staring at you yeah. and hearing all the, the droplets. This is a low-key cuckabee cucked as well. No, it is. But Liran is a, a bigger man than I. Like, I would be rattled in that situation. Oh, dude. Oh, he turned around and said, can I help you? Can I help up? you? Dude, I'm walking past him. Not a chance. Uh, I'm, I'm telling him like... to fuck off. Seriously. <laughs> oh, he's breathing in your ear, whispering sweet nothings. Dude, Liran's workplace only hires psychos <laughs> on the south of it. Do their best work in the toilets. <laughs> the hamburger one was pretty funny as well. So he got a burger and mm. what? He just placed it between like one slice mm. of bread or did he roll up the hamburger as well and then put it in? I assume it was in a hot dog roll. Is what I understood it as. <laughs> and he ate it from the side. Yeah, and we skipped past the guy who just sculled a bottle of vinegar. The yeah. same dude. Just, uh. Hearing his accent again, he sounds New Zealander. New Zealander. Yeah. Mm. So I'm, I'm very confused what his accent is. But that is a great story. Oh, thanks very much. That's given us a good chuckle. Thanks, Laurent. Alrighty, boys, I have one as well. I have a rare unit. So I told you boys half this story, but I didn't tell you how it ended. Sen knows because he was there when it happened. But I met this guy at a wedding and I went with my partner, Cindy. Okay. So I went with her and this guy, he's gay. And we were on the dance floor. I didn't, really, I didn't know him actually at all, but I just met him on the night. You know, we're having a good old time dancing in the circle. Everyone, a group of us. Um, very friendly fellow. So the next day I get a DM from him saying, he's like, hey, how's it going? I feel like I remember you from a podcast. Did you ever have a podcast of your own with or with mates? And I was like, yeah, good, man. Uh, how are you? We still do it. We record it today. He's like, oh, excellent. Rough morning after last night, but I'm doing pretty well. And then I was like, sick. Hope you had a good time last night, mate. It was good meeting you, this and that. Um, and then that was the end of that. It was a nice interaction, you know, just a little follow-up message after I met him. He then sends me a photo. And the photo is just of a sandwich. And I've given him like a, you know, just a love react. I don't know why he sent this to me, but whatever. Any following messages or just photo? No, it was just a photo, like a disappearing mm, photo. Okay. So okay. I've given a double tap, bang. Then like, I didn't reply to that, obviously. Uh, a few days later, I get another photo. I open that up and it's, um, it's him shirtless uh, in like a sauna type situation. 
Is like, it a selfie? Like a mirror selfie. Okay. And then I was like, oh, okay, like whatever. Gave him a double tap. Probably shouldn't have done that. You should have let that one go. You should have <laughs> let that one go. Because what does a double tap do, Rope? It sends a heart. But but he because I, I did that only because he followed up with, oh, sorry, that was a bit inappropriate. I must have accidentally sent that. Okay, so I, I'm here thinking, that's just a mistake. I was like, all right, no worries, double tap. All good, brother. All good. So Is that what you that. replied? Yeah. Mm. Replied, haha, all good, brother. Then he replies with a laughing, crying emoji with like a face palm. And he says, I hope it wasn't too explicit. Mm. So I'm sitting there like, all right, this guy in my heart, because I've gone to the wedding with my girlfriend. I'm like, oh, no dramas. He's accidentally sent that, probably sent to the wrong person. No dramas, you know? No worries at all there. Then a few days later after that, he sends me a, um, uh, a meme. And the meme is a photo of a car with a number plate, ass sex. So I haven't double tapped that one because I've- because <laughs> You're point, not good. You finally read between the lines. Because at that point when he sent the shirtless <laughs> selfie, um, I, I, I was at the podcast the next morning. So I was telling you boys a story about how, how this fun, this happened, whatever. Now I'll pause there. Am I in the wrong here for the double, double, double tap? For the, the second double tap? Yeah, the shirtless selfie double. The tap. shirtless selfie yes. should have ended it I there. I don't know why you doubled. I wouldn't have reacted. Left it at that. Exact scene. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've I've gotten that. We are blaming you, the victim, for this. Well, I'm not a victim. Yes. yes. Then we're in Melbourne, and um, so I was staying with Sen, my partner, and his girlfriend as well. And Sen was in the shower at the time, and so I get another DM from this fellow, and I'm like, oh, fantastic! This will be a laugh. Let's let's show the girls like. Mate, look at this guy's doing. Because they, they like believe me, but they also didn't believe me. They thought I was selling porkies about this. Yeah, because when you told us that morning, you said, yeah. I was like, there's no way because I looked at your Instagram profile. First of all, your pictures with your missus. Yeah. And then like your first five photos are also with your missus. And, you also and then you also win. went with your missus. <laughs> yeah. So like, who does he think this woman is in your life? So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm well I, with I, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I came up, I was like, I'm getting rizzed up by this dude. And yeah. then they were all having a good old chuckle. Yeah, yeah, whatever, right? Anyways, in Melbourne, get the DM. Well, let's show, let's show, let's show these guys what, what's happening here. It's a video. I've opened the video. And it's this fellow jelking himself on a bed. Oh, I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, I knew it. Oh, my day. So wait. Sen didn't see this at the no, time. No. Sen was also do- nah. <laughs> <laughs> It was just Sen's missus, your missus. So let me, you. yeah. Look, in I a wanna hotel room. S- yeah. In I want to picture you're in your hotel room. Yeah. You see, you know, video there. And you're like, this is going to oh, be a let's, <laughs> girls, <laughs> girls, let's gather around and have a look at this play. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that. What was the initial reaction from, dude, okay. paint me a picture, sell me a dream. All right, I'll paint you the picture of the video, right? It no, was- the video. <laughs> I, that's all I want to know. You all already right? painted it enough. <laughs> I'm the exact good I've heard what we need to know about the video. No, no, it's it's because it was, was it like the, the Drake story. video. I've never seen the Drake video. Oh yeah, but um, same. It was him on a bed, and then it was like, kind of, no, relax, relax, relax. It was him on a bed, and the caption was, "Oh, uh, like naughty Sunday evenings or something like that, right?" <laughs> With like the devil emoji. <laughs> it was a Friday night as well. <laughs> And so I've seen that, but like there was nothing graphic just yet. And then like it slowly pans down to like the bed sheets. So it was the back camera. It was the back camera. And he was probably panning ahead. Ahead, yeah. Like probably to a window or something. The horizon. Yeah. yeah. So you got inter- you were interested. I was, yeah, I was hooked. Given no subject <laughs> yeah. in the foreground. You're telling me this guy's directorial technique. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking panned. <laughs> Cinematography. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. <laughs> it's a wide angle. So he's panned down and then like, so what happened was I immediately saw the cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, push. Clip. I need that clip. And, and at that point, the girl screamed and I was like a bit shocked and I swiped down. So I didn't see the rest of the video, but I saw- Can you I see saw, how long the rest of the video would have been? No, because it was like a disappearing- um, oh. so on the bombs. Yeah, the so. bomb Instagram stories. Anyway, so then there was a bit of silence there for a couple of seconds. <laughs> While I looked at um, Pranker and Cindy, I was like, look at them. I was like, what do I do here? I told you so. <laughs> well, no, and then I was fine. I was like, okay, whatever. Like, this You've is seen like, plenty of cocks in your life. I was like, yeah, well, no, but <laughs> I don't know why I agree to oh. that. <laughs> 
Oh, no, we I went to a boys' school. Yeah, agree. Oh, yeah. It's a yes and, man. It's uh, no blocking in this podcast. <laughs> Continue. Um, and then I was like, I didn't know how to feel about it. Mm, it is shocking. It is absolutely shocking. Because it was shocking. And also I, I felt like bad because I had like exposed like these girls through Unsoli- no fault of their own. You <laughs> Unsolicited. That, you thought this was going to be hilarious. Yeah, because well, I thought it was going to be just like a- Another, another shirtless pic yeah, or something. saucy photo. Not like the actual, like, yeah. um, like a dick pic essentially. And uh, yeah, then, then Pranker asked me like, oh, are you okay? And then I walked out to get some Indian food. And I was having to think about- <laughs> That's a natural. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. What was the name of the Indian restaurant? Yeah, I was going to say that. So I walked out to go to an Indian restaurant to get some food for us. The name of the restaurant was Gaylord Indian. <laughs> and I'm not even capping. So now, you know, I'm, 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 a, bit, I'm a bit rattled here. And Prank was like, oh, are you okay? And I was like, thinking, I was walking out. I was like thinking like, am I okay? I was okay. But- Still, it was nonetheless, shocking. It was shocking. Hey, I'll tell you, it was shocking. You can't process that stuff immediately, which is it's nice of Priyanka to say that immediately as you know, first reaction kind of thing to you. Mm. <laughs> but, were they okay? Yeah, they were okay. Yeah, that was yeah. Wow. Well, sorry. <laughs> sorry, when you when you said that story, all I could think of was Priyanka said, "Are you okay?" Then you just exited and went to an <laughs> yeah, you're just like bl- <laughs> you're just like blank stare. Just, <laughs> I need to get some Indian food now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks up, hands up, and it's Gaylord. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, there you go. Look, you're a victim. Massive rare you. What'd you do from there, though? Well, nothing. I just blocked him. Blocked, blocked him. Call him a day. I just love the <laughs> sandwich mm. sauna. Checking <laughs> 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 off in that order. <laughs> if you ever want to riz up someone, do not do that. I'll put my hand up. Probably shouldn't have double tapped the shirtless, but nah, you asked it was for a mistake. It. <laughs> it was a mistake. I you thought it was an accidental. Little did I know. How did you think that was accidental? In, any in way? no world. Any male sent me a shirtless <laughs> photo without me explicitly asking, yeah. am I doing anything with that photo? No, if one of you boys sent me a shirtless, I'm double tapping that, yeah. and maybe screenshotting. One of the boys, mm. all right? One of the close friends, some random guy that is might be trying to tune. No, but do you know what I mean? Like I didn't even consider the possibility that I was getting rizzed up. How, how did you not consider the possibility? No, I was joking about it to you guys, but like he's gay. I'm definitely not gay, as Manny said. To clip that part up. No, <laughs> no, but I remember, I remember us talking about this and we were very, very clear that you were getting rizzed up. No, you were ha- we were having a laugh. I thought it was all jokes. No, Ha-ha, you're, getting no, he was a, you're getting rizzed. We can't believe he doesn't understand yeah. you're not gay. Yeah. But no. we never said like, oh, he's probably might he, not be rizzing you. He was. It was abundantly clear when you told her the first time. I don't, mm. we, <laughs> we didn't tell you to invite more. <laughs> I didn't invite the you second time. You should have unheart reacted that. He didn't no, invite a cock. You can't take the heart react back, bro. Yes, you can. You can just yeah, double but tap yeah. again. seen the um, notification. Mm. Yeah, that is true, actually. But yeah, look, public service, please yeah. don't be sending out unsolicited dick pics. It's outrageous. No, back no. to the yeah. segment, where's the rareness? Who's rare? Everyone involved. You, him. There is a bit of rareness. The with girls. <laughs> <laughs> with you guys. Send showering. You no, that's a bit rare. All this. <laughs> hey, ladies, come check yeah. this out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could see that. If it wasn't a cock, it would have been a good f- a hoot and a half, as yeah. Ro would say. So you were expecting another shirtless. No, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was a DM from this guy. I'm like, oh, it'll be good. Let me show these people. It'll because be in what world do you think you're going to get a cock sent to your a phone? Yeah. I reckon the, the odds were pretty high. <laughs> yeah, when you were saying were you were getting photos, I was waiting for you to say one of them was a cock. I'll yeah. be completely honest with you. Yeah. yeah. I kind of knew it was coming. The video was very jarring, though. The, the, honestly, the photo might have been like, all right. But the video with the cinematography was, was insane. <laughs> Bro, I can't be, yeah, that's the funniest shit. The Is fact the, that you couldn't see it in the beginning of the video, <laughs> you had to wait like a little three, teaser. seconds. So yeah. What's this video about? <laughs> it was a hook. All right, the brother is rare for not understanding your Instagram profile and seeing that you're not gay. All right, mm. I'll give you that. Is he rare from going from topless to dick pic? Is that also a rare No, because he heart reacted. He heart reacted. So that no. was the next logical step. But he said, sorry, I was like, all good brother. Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's a classic. He tested the water. So if well, you know, one of the boys is trying to raise up someone and mm. they do that exact transition, you know, shirtless pick to, are we saying, you know, good, no, fair I'm game? No, I'm hoping none of the boys are saying they're going to tell it to anyone. <laughs> it's not a healthy or yeah, natural transition. It's not a normal anyway. thing to do. Yeah, so he's rare. How am I getting victimized? That's what I mean. Is, is that rare, the fact that he's done that? Yes. Yes, it absolutely is rare, but mm. you should not have hard reacted it anyway. He's the victim. Don't blame the no. victim, Kush. No, no, he invited a bit of it. <laughs> you did invite a bit of it, I'll be honest. You absolutely did. You could have said all good brother, but no heart react. We told you from the beginning. I think when you were telling the story the first time, sandwich picture hadn't come from memory. 
Mm. So you were he, just telling about the chat. And was, yeah, yeah, chat. He just, just chat. Only. And we definitively said that you were getting rizzed up. Mm. 100%. <laughs> but you went from sandwich to photo to <laughs> video, man. Woo.